Hi, I'm Dr. Jack West, medical oncologist in Seattle and the founder and president of GRACE. One of the questions that we face after a patient has undergone surgery for lung cancer is how intensive to be in surveillance and doing imaging and follow-up scans and, and visits for patients with uh, a, a, a surgery rem removing the cancer and potentially curing it. In truth, we've really had to rely just on our best judgment about this because there really hasn't been uh, evidence to answer that question, at least until now. Now, there is a study that was presented at a recent meeting in early September of 2017. It was done in France. It's called IFCT 0302. And it was designed to answer the question of whether you do better if you have more intensive surveillance versus less. In the patients who had less intensive surveillance after surgery, they would get exams, clinic visits, and, and uh, chest x-rays here and there. But in the more intensive uh, surveillance arm, they would have regular CT scans done every few months. And in patients with some types of lung cancer would actually have bronchoscopies done just to look in the airways in addition to standard visits and exams what they found was that there was actually no difference in survival for the patients who had the more intensive surveillance versus those who had less. And this is potentially going to change our practice. So does this mean we should never do CAT scans on patients after they have surgery? I would say not necessarily. It's important to note that patients who have had a prior lung cancer are at higher risk of developing a new lung cancer than patients who never had lung cancer. And it's currently routine and appropriate to do lung cancer screening CAT scans for patients at high risk for lung cancer based on an age of 55 to 75 or 80 and with a significant smoking history. Whether you've had a prior cancer or not, it's appropriate to do an annual low dose screening CAT scan. And this can pick up uh, new cancers when they're much earlier and more curable than if we wait until someone develops symptoms. Now, in patients who have had a prior lung cancer, uh, these patients are definitely at higher risk of a separate cancer. I've picked up many patients, uh, new cancers, with a CAT scan uh, several years after their initial uh, treatment for cancer. And in essentially all of these cases, it's been picked up early enough that they could be treated with surgery or radiation and do very well. In fact, I can't recall any of these patients ever having the cancer come back and be a threat to their survival. I wouldn't be as confident about that if they had had this cancer just progress to the point that they developed symptoms from it. But that is uh, just not a studied question. And I would say that the people who presented the results of this study noted that potential value of screening for a new cancer. And what they said was, this may be appropriate to do an annual CT scan to screen for a new cancer, but it's probably not appropriate or beneficial for patients to be coming in every three or four months in the first couple of years after a surgery to get repeat CAT scans or more intensive anything else beyond that. And I think that's an appropriate conclusion, that we should be cautious in a time when we need to be uh, judicious about uh, resources and the inconvenience and radiation exposure to patients to not do things that have no value. So I would say that this is going to and should lead to a decrease in the frequency of CT scanning, at least in the first few years after a patient has undergone surgery. Maybe we should do an occasional chest x-ray. Certainly we should be aware of any new symptoms a patient has, but the idea of doing CAT scans every three or four months, even every six months in the first few years is probably more than is necessary or appropriate. Uh, I think it still makes sense to do an annual low dose screening CT scan and that is probably continuing to be, will be continued to be done uh, for many patients. So this is going to evolve but it is an important new bit of information to finally uh, inject into this area where we've been relying just on principles and our judgment.